guys uh, sorry for the interruption as i was saying uh, one line of position okay have uh, one qdm and one qdr and when you are over that line of position you are at the same time in uh, a certain qdm and at the same and at the same time in the opposite qdr okay uh, so as I was saying, on this line of position here, you are on QDM040, QDR220. But since you are going on course 040, you are following QDM040. So we uh, are over a certain line of position and we are following something, okay? It's two different things, okay? And I can even be on this line of position and not be following neither uh, neither QDM QDR. Let me let me do a drawing. Maybe it's easier. Let's say that I have a station here, okay? And I'm gonna draw uh, I'm gonna draw a line of position here, and I'm gonna say that this is the line of position. Um, <clears throat> Let's say that this is QDM360 and QDR180, okay? This is it. This line of position is QDM360, QDR180. What does this mean? It means that over this line of position, if I follow QDM360, I will get to the station. It's my magnetic bearing to the station. And if I follow QDR180, I will get the further the, the, uh, the further as possible away from the station. Okay? QDM, magnetic bearing to the station. QDR, magnetic bearing from the station. Now, as I was saying, so I can be... Sorry. I can be over this line of position on QDM 36018 towards the station, which means that right now I'm following QDM 360. Okay, I'm on QDM 360, QDR 180, following QDM 360, and I can be here on the same QDM QDR but following QDR 180. It means that I'm going away. And I can even be over the line of position QDM360, QDR180, going not on QDM360, not on QDR180, but let's say it for instance on adding 090. Okay? So one thing it's my line of position, and another thing it's what I'm following. Okay? I think that. You understand it well now. Um, and with this said, um, I'm going to try and explain what you can do with uh, QDM uh, and uh, QDR and basically with an ADF or an RMI. Okay, how, how do we use it? Okay, so we have basically three things. Okay, we can home to the station which is go directly towards the station we can intercept a qdm and we can intercept a qdr okay so these three things so first of all home to the station to proceed directly to the station it's really easy it's just follow following the needle okay the needle is pointing to uh, 355 Okay, so we follow 355. Okay, I am. I know that this is an ADF, but uh, ignore this. Okay, let's say it's an RMI and this is a movable scale that it's connected to your gyro. Okay, this is exactly uh, behaving at, uh, as if you have an HSI or an RMI. Okay, for you to understand. Okay, so if we follow 355, we'll proceed to the station. If we follow the yellow needle, you'll proceed to the station okay you don't even need numbers here the yellow the yellow uh, arrow points towards the station so if you follow the yellow arrow you will proceed directly to the station and we call it homing to the station okay now guys imagine that i do not want to 
proceed directly to the station. I want to approach the station on QDM 330. Okay. Well, how do we interpret this? Okay. We have the VOR here. We have our aircraft here. And now we're going to draw the line of position that we want. It's this line of position. Okay. And we want to approach the station on on the bearing 330 so the line of position that we want it's this one okay it means that i want the yellow needle to to come here like this okay this is my objective which means that the the VOR or the NDB, the Navade, is there, and I want to turn right, intercept this line of position, and proceed to the station. Okay? If we interpret this uh, in this way, it's really easy. So imagine that someone tell me, okay, uh, João, now I want you to intercept QDM. 030. Okay, let me draw the line of position and QDM. So it's towards the station. I want to go. I'm here. Okay, and I want to go towards the station via this line of position on QDM 030. So I will once again turn left to intercept this. Uh, sorry, I'll do it in another color. Turn left to intercept this line of position and follow it towards the station. Now, let's speak a bit uh, speak a little bit about angles of interception imagine that you want qdm 030 let's draw it here okay you want 030 so basically you want the needle to go there you want to you're here this is your aircraft you want to go sorry you want to go left to intercept this line of position and proceed to the station now, in this situation, if I follow 030, I want 030, okay, this is my objective. If I follow 030, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a parallel to the line of position that I want to intercept, correct? And if I do less then 030 i will start to intercept this line of position okay this is uh, i don't know uh, 020 010 yeah but the problem is i want to intercept this line of position not this line of position why because if i am if i am on this line of position going to 030 the station is here okay if i go that way i'm not on qdm 030 i'm on qdr 030 so QDM 030, it's only on this line of position here until the station. If I pass it, now I am on line of position QDM 210, QDR 030. Is that, I don't know if that's easy to understand. Let me show you here. In this diagram, this line of position is QDM360 and QDR180, right? When you are on over this line of position. Nevertheless, if I, I'm here, okay? And if I pass it, now from here on, okay, that direction, this is another line of position. Why? Because you pass the station, and 
on this line of position, let's say that this is a green line of position. Okay, on this line of position, we are now on QDM180 because if you want to go to the station, you need to go to 180 and you are on QDR360. Zero. Because if you follow 360, you will be going away from the station. Okay? So, when we are speaking about the line of position with, with a certain QDM, QDR, it's only until the station. The opposite of that line of position has a different QDM and a different QDR. It has actually the opposite ones. Okay? So... When, you, when someone tells you, okay, you need, you're here, okay, and you need to intercept uh, QDM030, so you need to come here to the left, okay, it, they, they, may, they mean this line of position, not this line of position, okay? These are different lines of position. All right, now I need to... Okay, so now guys, as I was as I uh, was saying, here you want to intercept QDM zero three zero. This is okay zero three zero. It's here, so that you know, it's here. This is is here. It's zero three zero. I want to intercept QDM zero three zero. So I want to intercept this line of position, which when I fall zero three zero, it will leave me uh, lead me to the to the station. All right. So if I follow heading, I, let's say we have no wind. Uh, if I follow heading 030, well, the VOR is there, but I'm going at a parallel, okay? From 030 to this here, it's 355, 355. From 030 to 355, not including, okay, what it's going to happen is that I'm going to I'm going to intercept the opposite line of position that I want. Okay, when I reach 355, what it's going to happen is that I'm not going to intercept nothing. I'm just going to maintain my QDM 355 and follow direct to the station. And now, from 355 to the left, I will be intercepting the line of position that I want. I will be intercepting QDM 030. Zero. So in order to intercept QDM030, I have to do at least 354. So something to the left, to the west of 355. Okay. For me to go left, okay, and then intercept the, the QDM030. I hope that I can I uh, could explain this well. Okay, and now why am I uh, uh, doing such a big deal uh, about this? Because some schools uh, teach you need to do an angle of interception of 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. But what is important is that you realize that you cannot do it. Uh, well, what's important is that you understand what you're doing, not just doing it by a formula or by a bold method that you do without thinking, without knowing spatially what you're doing. Um, so, for instance, if you know that the angles of interception always count from the your intended uh, QDM or your intended course. So if someone tells you, okay, you need to intercept QDM 030 with 10 degrees of interception now you know that's impossible why because if you want to intercept the QDM 030 so this line of position with 10 degrees you would follow adding 020 which is here okay and what you would do is something like this and you would not intercept this line you would intercept this line of position so you would never intercept QDM 030 only QDR 030 Okay, so um, I hope that uh, you understand the, the part of QDM interception by now.